The Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Tuesday, the 6th of June. I'm James Spann. Very wet weather across the state today, but we have good news if you are looking for drier weather. Let's go ahead and check things out today. Water vapor satellite view, broad troughing, cold air aloft, unstable air, high precipitable water values, and a lot of rain today. That was the radar at uh, 236. Some spots today alone, since midnight last night, have picked up over three inches of rain. Uh, at that point, the heaviest rain along the U.S. 80 corridor, Demopolis, Selma, Montgomery, Auburn, Opelika. Pretty good rains falling in parts of north and west Alabama. The rain for the Birmingham metro has subsided for now. And temperatures are way below average for most of the state. Now, up in the Tennessee Valley, they're in the 80s. But where the rain has been falling, they're in the 70s. Birmingham at 74. But temperatures creep back up. We'll be in the upper 80s by the weekend. This is a peek at the uh, uh, rain analysis for the past three days. And understand this does not count the rain after 7 o'clock this morning. Uh, the biggest number in Alabama seems to be around the Shelby County Airport with 3.3 inches. Up in Fort Payne, 2.3. But certainly uh, what little was left of the drought, it's long gone now after all of this. Watch warning map. Things are quiet around the nation today. Got some flash flood issues down in parts of Florida. A marginal risk of severe weather for much of Florida, including the southeastern tip of Alabama around Dothan for the rest of today and tonight. Also, a chance of severe storms well to the west of the state, including a slight risk over eastern New Mexico. Day two tomorrow, a marginal risk for the Florida Peninsula and again well to the west. And we are pretty much green free. That means dry air takes over tomorrow. Day three Thursday, dry here. A marginal risk of severe weather for parts of the western high plains up into Montana. Rain for the next seven days. Now, this started uh, early this morning, so really a lot of this has already come down. This is valid through Tuesday morning of next week. Uh, one to two inches for the south, less than one inch for the north. Big rains over the Florida Peninsula. But again, after today, we'll be dry for a while. And the tropics, again, very quiet across the vast Atlantic Basin. The uh, typical peak of the hurricane season comes later in August and September. Model fans, here we go. The GFS, the 12Z run, ballot tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock at 500 millibars, troughing over the eastern U.S. and down below that. A broad surface low is coming into the Florida panhandle from the Gulf, but for us, we are into drier air. Uh, during the day, the dew points will likely be dropping, and that's a good sign. High should be in the low 80s, and the sky should be mostly sunny. Humidity values noticeably lower. Should be a very nice day. Thursday, we could be in the 50s in many spots to start the day. That'll feel good. Uh, the high around 80. Bright, sunny weather. Just gorgeous. Friday, pretty much the same thing. We start the day in the upper 50s in most spots. The high in the mid-80s. Sunshine in full supply. And the weekend looks rain-free. Sunny on Saturday. Upper 80s. Same thing Sunday. Highs 87 to 90. With a sunny sky. So after today, there is a very good chance much of the state will go five consecutive days without rain showers. Very odd for June. But Monday of next week, the moisture comes back. And we'll bring back the chance of scattered showers and storms on Monday. Monday's high in the 80s. And this is a week from today, Tuesday, the 13th of June. Pretty intense trough coming out of the Rockies. And a very deep surface low is over... Uh, uh, South Dakota, this is suggesting maybe some big snow in mid-June for parts of the Rocky Mountains. Maybe severe weather south and east of that thing. But down here, just kind of a soupy air mass, the typical chance of scattered, mostly afternoon and evening showers and storms. This is the end of the forecast period, Friday of next week, June 16th, troughing in the northwest and around here, pretty benign weather. Check the numbers coming off the European. Highs uh, mostly in the 80s. Again, note those upper 50s Thursday and Friday morning. Next week, though, will be more humid with morning lows around 70. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. You can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.